Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back. My name is Ren and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to set up your very own farming simulator 25 server with Nitrado, the official partners. So what you're going to do is just head over to the Nitrado website. Once done, you have a lovely screen that looks like this. So here you'll be able to select products and game servers. Once done, type in farming sim or scroll down and you should see it here. Once done, you will see you'll have multiple options. Just click customize server and then you'll have four slots or three slots. Uh, sorry, four slots, six slots, eight slots, 10 slots, 12 slots, 40 slots or 16 slots. Choose, just drag and pull it along. Here you'll see how many days you want the server for. I normally would say if I'm going to do it right, it'd be 30 days. But it's up to you if you want to do it all the way up to 365. For the purpose of this video, it'll be for three days. Then you've got hardware performance upgrade, which is a 25 gig mod space upgrade for the farming simulator. That's if you're using mods. If you're not using mods, don't worry about it. It doesn't really add that much on, to be fair. So I would say just add it anyway. Then make sure you choose where you are in the world. For me, I'm in Scotland, so and that's where my bones are buried. So, yep, over here, I will choose London. And then we're just going to choose this configuration. Then you can choose with your Nitrado wallet that you can top up via the charge account area, or you can select PayPal or a card payment. If you have a promo code, just put it in here. Or you can use the link in the description and it should apply a little discount for you. <laughs> right, so uh, what we're going to do is just click this Nitrado wallet here for me and just click order. Once done, you'll see this set up your servo. Click that button and just wait. It will look like this. So we'll come back in a second once that part's done. Okay, so once done, you'll see that you'll have your just your basic information here. What you're going to do click the drop down box and you can see a few options here you'll have extend which will allow you to extend the duration of your server for extra credits you can also charge your account directly here if you've already got it set to a subscription plan don't worry about that so oh let's find our server if it's not at the top just scroll down till you find it here you can also add a comment change the game like if you get sick of playing the farming world and you end up like a corpse like me, you can change the game. You could just click this button. It will take a minute or two and then you can pick from a wild list of games that are needing, that are available, you know, with the same amount of slots that you have. If you want, you can just click upgrade, okay? But anyway, let's go back. So go, click on dashboard and we'll go back again. I'll just bring it back to where we were. Okay, so the web interface, and then you've got edit guest access, right? So if you want to add your friends, you've got your subdomain, you can change your slots, runtime, downgrade, all that kind of stuff. Very simple. We're going to click on web interface. This gets your server set up. Here you see that your server setup is just finished and some spawn background jobs and initial start, blah, blah, blah. It just means the server's finishing. Make sure your server is stopped at the top here. And it says the server is currently stopped here as well before we move on. You can have a look down here, but it just gives you like some FTP information and whatnot. Like maybe you want to install a mod or something. Well, that will be the information that you use right now. So next we're going to click on settings. And here in the settings area, you will see the basic base settings. Now you can click on show internal names on the configuration files, which you can edit via like uh, the main system files. But here we'll just turn it off. You can also search for a setting. So if you're not sure about a setting and where it is, you could just type it in there and maybe it'll show you. Okay, so the max amount of players the server is four. We've got an admin password that we can add in. You can change this to whatever you want, right? So reset it to a random password or whatever and just meh. Here you can enable logging and the mod space is active. So we've got 250 megabytes of mod space, to, but don't forget we also have that extra bit of mod space. Now just click save changes, right? And that is literally it for this one. It's so simple. Your server will update and it will install everything that we've just done here. 
Then while that's doing that, we're going to have a look at configuration profiles. This is in case you want to make multiple profiles of your server. Maybe you have like um, mods enabled and things like that. You can enable them and sort them all out here. The next is tools. You'll have restore backup where you'll be able to, um, after your server's been live for enough time, you'll have a backup here. And if you ever need to restore it because of an error due to a mod, you can just there. Automatic tasks can be done every hour or every up to 23 hours and so and so minutes, but that's like if you want to restart the server. It will have a base server restart, which should go off at UTC2+. Plus. You can delete this and make your own. Next is information, even like event logs and log files. I wouldn't worry too much about them. That's only if you ever have issues with your server and you need like people to, uh, you know, help you, like support. They're great guys and girls, so hey, if you get stuck and you don't need my help, you can ask them. So go back to your dashboard and we'll just wait for the server is running. So yeah, once that's done, you can either A, just take your IP and port and copy that into the game and load up your server from there, or you, you can also go to the web interface area, which is here, and log in here if once you have your information and whatnot accounts set up. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, you know, and I'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget to use the link in the description. It helps me, it helps you, and it helps me probably get some skin back. Till next time, thanks for watching.